Hello, beloved. Once again, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I bid you God's grace and God's peace from the bountiful provisions of Calvary. It's been a joy to uh, share some devotionals with you uh, over this 40 days of, of, of hope and prayer for California and communities and family. And uh, uh, in the last couple of devotions, I shared about faith and hope, and today we're going to talk about love. The scripture says these three, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. And uh, I'm reminded of what Paul said to us, uh, wrote for us in, in Romans 5, 4. And he says, the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts. It's been poured out. When the Spirit of God came, He came with love. One of the things that, that I believe in when we were regenerated, when we were born again, I believe that there were things that were put into our spirit that were eternal and that the, the whole of our Christian life is really coming into a place of developing and perfecting those things. When you were born again, God put in that seed faith. Uh, it's, it's not human faith. It's God-type faith. He put in that seed, hope. It, it's not the kind of hope that you find humans have. Um, I hope maybe it'll happen. Uh, it, it's God kind of hope, a sure expectation. And then he put love, not natural love, not the human kind of love, but the agape of God, the love of God that was manifested in the Lord Jesus Christ as he gave himself up for all of humankind. And so we want to focus on that for today, for a moment, that this greatest of these is love. And God wants us to pursue Him about maturing that love. We need to understand that when we love the way God loves, that's supernatural. That didn't come from your genes from the, about your, the generations in the past. That didn't come from your mom and dad. Now your mom and dad might have been very loving and you might have learned a lot from them, but it was a natural love. But what the Father in heaven gave us was a supernatural love to love when love would not be expected. <laughs> that when everything, everybody's against us, when people are talking against us, when somebody's lying about us, to love that person in spite of it. You know, we live in an hour and a day, even in this state of California that we're praying for, where there's a lot of terrible stuff going on. Now, we don't have time to get into all that, and you watch the news, no doubt, so you're already aware of all the horrible stuff going on. But God's looking for a people that'll rise up in the love of God. He's looking for a people, and it begins in prayer. It begins in the closet. It begins, nobody knows about it. But you're loving all over your family. You're loving all over your community. You're loving all over the state of California as you take the time secretly seeking God. And then you go out into the culture and you run into that person who's got a bad attitude. Oh man, you don't like that. But you love them anyway. And you let them know what the love of God is like. You run into that person that, that everything is going downhill for them. And you're able to say something, maybe give them a little something. You're able to bless their day. You're able to sow the love of God. So as we are going through these, this time of 40 days, let, let, let's let love be the priority. Faith, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest is love. God bless each and every one of you.